Downloaded from ilovezmusic.com. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. From the title, you see that I will be taking you on tour of my school. Yes, so enjoy the video. So, from the roadside, this is how the school looks like. So, you just go up the hill and cross from the Water Authority um, building. Oh, no, 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 no. So this is the entrance to the school, right? When you come in, when you come in, you see the sandboy. That's where the secretary would be. A person that will assist you on what you need if you need to meet anyone or the school authorities, you know? Yes. And before that, let me show you the administration office. So this is the administration office. It has this sitting area situation. It has this board with previous past activities, right? And if you come this way, we have the library, right? couldn't talk much because I'm this sort of like a road map telling you like directions on what the school building is like these are like some handouts to give you more info on what the school is about you know stops like that then before we go upstairs let's see This is a classroom. This is the simulation lab. Hyperparatabolism, pushing syndrome, um, growth hormone deficiency. Couldn't talk much because the class was going on in the simulation lab. How funny that is. So if you go over here, this leads you to leads you to the um this is the toilet. Right. This is the anatomy lab. Anatomy lab. Yeah. So, so different stuff. So this is where we come to do our anatomy practical and histology presentations. Right? Usually a dead body that is a cadaver is usually here for MD1 students to do their 
practical sessions, right? Yeah. Schools of storage. Diagnostic. School diagnostic lab. So this is where, where we do our practical exams, PDI, patient doctor interaction exams. So every student will have a station with patient, you know, and they'll present, they'll be given like a question. It could be um, do a physical examination for respiratory exam. It could be abdominal examination, anything. Yeah, basically, this is how this place looks like. Yeah. Now, let me take you to one of my favorite parts of school. This is a classroom. This is my favorite part of school, student lounge. But before that, we have another set of bathroom. This is for male guys. And this for female. Can you imagine? Male have, has a mirror and female doesn't. How ironic. So now, still lounge. So, this is a student lounge. Pardon the AC noise. It has various cabinets. So every student has a cabin where they put their stuff. You know. And this is the histology and pathology lab. Let's see. Was locked. We can't get an access to that. But yeah, so this is how it looks like. So when you come in, a roll. This is a desktop set to you know search for things if you want to check out something on the internet and you didn't bring your laptop. You can do your prepare your that your presentation slides here do whatever you want yeah amazing right and we have like gene equipment great right yeah gene equipment this is a sitting area it has a couch nice AC it has a sink it has a microwave, it has a fridge, yeah. yeah. It even has a treadmill. So if you want to do recreational activities, you can. I wonder how this works. Is it even set up? I guess the setup is just like this. Ooh. Let me see if this works. Okay, it's not set up yet. But yeah. That is... No, that's basically it. There are more classes though. Let me see. Let me take you to... To see a few of the classes. So this is another map that shows you where you are and where other places are. Okay. Okay. So this is a classroom. Let's see how the classroom looks like. So when you come in, this you 
you see there is a board a clock another map I'll show you where you are and this is how the tables and chairs are set up and for the projector there is meant to be a desktop there right to operate you know to connect to put your flash drive for the lecturers to put their flash drives so that they can they can project the powerpoints and teach the students yeah oh wow and our wi-fi handle is on the walls so you could easily connect to the wi-fi you know yeah and they have small speakers so that because the lecturers they use microphones while they teach so yeah so these are the classroom look like yeah Okay. And this is another is another board showing pictures from past um white coat ceremonies. Yeah. Yes. This is our notice board where important information or announcements are being posted. Yeah. Yeah. This. Yeah. So, was that all the yeah. Yeah. This is another yeah. staircase yeah. that leads you to more classes. Yeah. So, this is another picture frame showing more white coat ceremonies. And this is another roadmap. More classrooms, more classrooms. This is another notice board showing the timetable for the classes for each class. Yeah, timetable for each class. So they know they each student know their schedule. Right? And we have a lot of these so that students could could easily get drinking water. It's our water dispenser. Yep. Microwave fridge. chairs we've been here before yeah and that's basically it so guys that's basically it usually classes run from 8 a.m till about 3 p.m but some there are some classes that run through to 5 p.m for some days right so in our school we have we have what we call the um, pre-med program, we have the MD program, and we have the clinical rotations program, right? So all in all, everything is expected to come into roughly um, five years and more and some, right? So for the pre-med program, there are four pre-med classes. So we have pre-med one, two, three to four, right? After you're done with pre-med classes, then you move on to MD classes. So MD classes is about MD1 through to MD5. Then when you're done, there is an occasion that we do called the white coat ceremony. It basically is a ceremony that, you know, signifies that you are moving to the clin clinical aspect of your medical school career. So that we start going to the hospital, you see live patients, right? say love patients and you get to learn about the different specialties um, for instance for me and I think the clinical rotations it has they are like six CR six clinical rotation programs right 
So for each clinical rotation program, it's it's um, it's three months, right? So um, and we have to do six core clinical rotations and six electives. Like electives are like rotations that you do when you are sure of what area in medicine you would like to specialize in, right? So you pick like electives to to um, electives that is in line with what specialty you choose, right? So for the six clinical six core rotations, you have to do obs, obstet, obstetrics and gynecology. You have to do pediatrics. You have to do surgery, general surgery. You have to do internal medicine. You have to do psychiatry. Um, what's the sixth one? So yeah, the last one is family medicine. So those are the six core rotations that we do. Then after that, you start picking, you know, six electives that would complement your like whatever aspect you like to specialize in, right? Yeah, this brings me to the end of my school tour video. If you've been watching this video to this time, it means you need the information. So hit that subscribe button, like the video, share, right? Share it with your friends, family, especially those people that are interested in coming to the Caribbean islands, specifically St. Vincent for medical school. They will have an idea of what a medical school in St. Vincent looks like. Yes. So See you till the next time on my video. Enjoy. Bye for now. Look at